Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Kyle here, bringing you guys part two of the How to Broadcast iRacing series that I'm doing on my channel. Apologize, I couldn't have gotten a video out in uh, a little, like, about two weeks, actually. Just been really busy with the holidays, but, uh, got a bunch of free time on me now, so, uh, I'm gonna get going and I'm gonna record, uh, try and get as many of these videos out so I can teach you guys how to broadcast, uh, on iRacing. So, uh... Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your OBS, which is your screen capture. If you don't know where to get OBS, check out the first video. Uh, so just check the uh, How to Broadcast iRacing playlist for that. Uh, so let's get going. So um, first thing you want to do is you want to find what 75% of your upload speed is. In the first video, I did a link to speed test where you can find out what exactly your upload speed is. Uh, that's an awesome tool, so check that out. Left the link in the first video. Uh, so to find 75% of your upload speed, uh, uh, all you really got to do uh, is do your upload speed times 0.75. Make sure the upload speed is in megabytes. Uh, so then you'll get that number, and you want to save that, because that's the max amount of bits you can use uh, in iRacing, or which is at least recommended because you're not going to blink or anything. I generally use about 65 to 70% of my upload speed, uh, just, just to be extra safe, because when I generally stream, I'm generally driving, so, uh, don't want to blink, be spazzing out, and, uh, because it's a hazard for the other drivers on the track. Uh, so, step two, you want to do your resolution times FPS times one divided by 1,000. This is, will get your bit rate, uh, and make sure it's not over 75% of your upload speed, uh, because then you're going to have issues on the stream, like you will, uh, the stream will freeze frequently uh, and stuff like that, and you do not want that. I did an example of what my current setup is, which is 1.06 times 0.75, uh, and that will get that's uh, my bit rate, which is the max I can use, which is 795. Next, I did my resolution times uh, the FPS times 0.1 divided by 1. Thousand, and I got 691.2. I round up to the nearest fifth, so this would be rounded up to uh, 695. And then you're done. You want to save your bitrate number, and we're going to open up OBS. So we have OBS open right now uh, on full screen. Uh, so first thing you want to go is navigate over to settings. The, m the most important things you want to do is encoding, uh, which you want to make that your max bitrate. Currently, my max bitrate is 3500 because I did a uh, broadcast which was the Max VTV Cadillac Invitational. I uh, did that video uh, while recording. That's why it looks so nice, uh, because used OB I used OBS to record it, and I didn't live stream it just so I could make everything look really nice. Uh, but really cool uh, thing you can do, just bump up the bitrate all the way if you're just recording your desktop. Um, the next you want to go over in the broadcast settings. Put your stream key in, which for Twitch is... Uh, Go to your dashboard. You know what? What am I even saying? First, you want to make sure your mode is live stream first. Then your streaming service. You want to make that uh, whatever it is. Uh, there's a lot of uh, options in OBS uh, to use for live streaming. Then you want to choose your server, which whatever is close to, closest to you. I mine is uh, New York City because uh, that's what's closest to me. Then your Stream key, like I said about five seconds ago, but I went way too quick and I skipped over the first three lines. Uh, that uh, will be found, like I said earlier, on the dashboard option in Twitch. Uh, next, uh, if you want to save it to a file, just choose that, name it whatever you want, and uh, yeah, you're on your way. Then, I did this on purpose because OBS has this really cool feature where you can optimize your. OBS to work with Twitch and see it says your OBS settings are not optimized for use with Twitch. Please set the following uh, Advanced settings recommended x264 encoding profile is main for the service. Um, you can click optimize uh, So as you can see, let's see if the change really quick in advance See how the encoding profile is high. I can go into the broadcast settings click optimize click OK and go to advance It's main now so it automatically does everything uh, then the audio is also a very important part too uh, choose your speakers, uh, or whatever your sound output is, and your mic, which is, I don't know why it's called front mic, uh, for some reason, I don't know why it's called that, but, uh, I use a Logitech Tech G230, great headset. Um, next one, go up to your video, uh, make your 
resolution FPS make sure arrow is disabled because it will not record IRTVO with arrow enabled uh, then your downscale uh, this is where you find your resolutions for OBS uh, like, I, like I showed you in the uh, equation that I, little, I did and you know what that's pretty much it for the settings next I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a scene so just I'm not gonna do uh, add scene I'm just gonna call it tutorial apologize for my terrible typing I got a new keyboard and uh, still haven't gotten used to it uh, so then I right click it to add uh, monitor capture what you want to do is you want to select your resolution of eye racing uh, generally I have it in the top left corner because uh, then you won't need, need to change the uh, position but I use 720 so I do 1280 by 720 as uh, my resolution then uh, just click OK and this warning is going to pop up just ignore it uh, because OBS only records with it uh, enabled uh, so now I'm going to minimize this minimize that and I'm going to do preview stream and as you can see it's not going to have to take up the whole thing so what you want to do you want to hit edit scene want to drag it out and then you're good uh, so I can open it up uh, and I can see everything that's going on so uh, I'll just uh, go like that as you can see you can see it in OBS basically what it's doing is it's capturing uh, it but just a little tip that I've learned uh, from other people who I know who stream make sure it's uh, the preview is disabled I keep it enabled able for now just for video purposes but disable it because it's just going to use more resources and you should be, actually be a lot better off with it uh, just because um, oh god what was I saying again <laughs> I said I made your brain fart uh, shoot what I what was I saying <laughs> okay um, just give me, give me a minute to think here What was I saying? <laughs> I actually don't know what I was saying. Anyways, let's just keep on going here. Oh, wait, was it like disable the view? Oh, here we go. Yes, you want to disable the view because it uses more resources, and you don't want to do that because it will make things really bad. So just right-click it and disable the view. <laughs> Sorry about that little brain fart, guys. It's uh, 7 o'clock at night, and I'm kind of tired. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. And some cool things you can do is actually Rudy Cummings from a Max Speed TV show me this little cool trick uh, I can have this little box right here it has some racing screens on the top and has these two boxes in the left one goes I racing then the right box is a box for um, uh, like uh, a video or an intro or a video or something like that which is really cool I did some testing with this it didn't go as well <laughs> in the broadcast I did uh, but how I set it up you just want to make a uh, image uh, I just chose a cop, uh, excuse me, a carbon fiber background. I got it off of Google Images. Put some racing streams at the top. Then put two boxes in. I believe they're like 650 pixels by 650. So uh, if you're interested in that, uh, go ahead and do that because this is actually a really nice feature. Also, uh, shout out to Rudy for uh, showing me how to do this. Uh, then set a monitor, uh, window capture for iRacing, and I have a monitor capture for uh, Windows Media Player. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the preview. But anyways, guys, this is going to end the video, but thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that other great stuff that you can do on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Part 3 will be learning the ropes of IRTVO. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.